city There are people everywhere The snow is falling white and pretty As I stroll on my way of vlogmas we are heading to um down the road just to get my covid test i have to get a covid test before my procedure on tuesday and then we have to like quarantine quarantine for the next several days which isn't much different than our current level of life we're just not going through drive throughs anywhere that's the only change that has been made. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, so we're going to go get the the COVID test, and then I have no idea what we're going to do today. It's a day, it's a free-for-all. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Sarah Jane Case. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Have a, right. Have a good day. Um, that is the third one that I've had before. This is the only one that has ever been too uncomfortable for me. But I guess I have to be like extra careful. But ooh, man. So we are back home. I always do this with the sweatshirt. Um, so we are back home and it is Saturday and I usually make waffles on Saturday. So we are heating up the waffle iron. I'm gonna make some waffles, gonna make a cappuccino. Um, I put some like yummy pumpkin spice stuff in the waffle mix. Um, we've been using this um, Kodiak cakes, power cakes <laughs> for the waffles. Apparently they're like, they're supposed to have like more protein in them, like 14 grams of protein. Um, but I will say they are real yummy. So, um, they like, they're a little bit like more light and airy. They're not as dense. So eating like a whole waffle doesn't feel like too much. Um, so I just decided that I'm going to delete Instagram from my phone for the next couple of weeks. I just like need a break and I, and it's not that like Instagram's like not a happy place for me, but it's just more so like I'm craving like deep soul rest and I only really get deep soul rest when I'm not, um, scrolling, you know what I mean? So I'm going to take that time and just enjoy it and um hang out in real life for a little bit today I want to finish the kits for um people experiencing homelessness that we were putting together we got in our disposable masks gloves and um hats I'm hoping they all fit in the bags that I got for them. I'm really rooting for that. But they might not. We'll find out.
Okay, so we still have a ton of masks. Um, I gave each bag three and then um, we still have like a good amount of hats and gloves. So um, that's great because then I'll just put them in um, with the other things we have extras of. And um, we can do this again whenever we finish these, which is awesome. Um, also, it fit well. They're like very full, but they, they fit well. Next time, I'm definitely gonna get the ones with zippers because they keep, they're hard to keep closed, these ones. Um, but we did it. I'm gonna put them in my car. today as it stands normally I kind of have a tone for my weekends like is today gonna be a um, reset day is it gonna be a day where I rest I'm gonna kind of just do both um, today I don't want to put a tone to it because I think that feels a little bit restrictive today so um, there are just like a few things that I wanted to do obviously I have to take care of the plants and then um, I wanted to finish the kits and get the puzzle put away. Um, and then I've had this mint drying in our windowsill for a while um, to make mint tea with. So I've never done that before, but I just didn't want the mint to go to waste when the winter came. So we're going to try it out. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is that a lot of you are asking questions about Obi and um, like, what is he studying? What does he do? And so I thought it would be fun if you guys ask your questions about just like, you can ask about him specifically, you can ask about our marriage, whatever. We can do like a Q and A, but I did delete Instagram. So we have to do it in the comments down below. Um, you guys can leave your questions in the comments and then we will answer them or depending on how he's feeling, if he wants to be in camera or not, I will answer them. Um, yeah, so do that. Leave them in the comments. Any questions about like us or him or um, all of that stuff? We're we're happy. To, I'm happy to answer them, um, and maybe he will join me. I don't know yet. Uh, so we're gonna get this mint and turn it into tea. It is honestly so dry, but it still smells really good. I, can't, I don't know how that's possible. Um, okay. Um, so for Christmas dinner, we're thinking of putting together like a coursed out meals. It's just Obi and I, I think it'd be fun. Like it would make it special to be like, okay, we're having like our wine and cheese starter. And then we have like a little appetizer and then we have like a main course. Um, as if we were going to out to a restaurant and able to get like the chef's menu, which we're not, we haven't been able to do in a million years. Um, so I'm going to look at kind of making a menu, seeing like which things each of us are going to make. And then I have to order the groceries today for the week. So I'll probably go ahead and order the food as well.
here's what we're gonna do for Christmas dinner. So I think we're gonna start um, like midday, like around lunch and just make it like a long um, experience. So we'll kind of be like lunch and dinner, um, but we're gonna do like cheese plate with like honeycomb and two cheeses and mustard and pickles. And then we'll do like a small, um, do an artichoke with like balsamic sauce. And I'm like pairing it with cocktails. So the first one is going to be a gin and tonic. The second one is gonna be a Gibson. And the third one is gonna be an arugula feta strawberry salad with a gimlet. And then the fourth one is going to be um, bruschetta with a Manhattan. And then dinner, dinner. So this is gonna be from like noon like six we'll have eaten those courses so it'll be like a long time um and then at dinner we'll have short ribs and polenta and an old-fashioned and then for dessert we'll have um a macaron and like a scoop of vanilla ice cream to end the night that's the plan the groceries um are ordered I'm going to drink some of this water and figure out what I'm going to have for um, lunch. I don't know. Yesterday, I was like, I'm going to have a salad for lunch tomorrow. And now, it's just so cold. I don't really want cold foods. You know, I kind of like just like want something warm. I got these like potato soups <laughs> um, when I was like hungry. And ordering online and now I'm like is that even something I would eat but maybe I'll try that and we'll see if it's something that I will ever eat again we'll find out some games I won two games of sequence one game of Yahtzee and Obi-Wan a game of Yahtzee so pretty impressive um so I am going to make a couple of like things in the kitchen I've been wanting to have just like a simple syrup around for coffee and stuff um and I thought it would be fun to make a simple syrup and then I can I might put some vanilla in there if I have some and just make like a vanilla syrup and then I might make a soda papa. Um, if you don't know, soda papa is like a thing that I used to get at a coffee shop when I lived in Waynesville, North Carolina, which is basically like a Coke with, oh, basically like a Coke with an espresso and a little bit of cream and some like vanilla syrup. And it's so good. I mean, it's definitely a treat, but I think I feel like a treat right now. So I'm going to do that. And then after that, I'm going to make this i'll show you this these like salt salted toffee oyster crackers we kind of realized let me get my water boiling and then we'll we'll have a little chat i'll be right back so since we already kind of did our christmas with our little um like we did early christmas we've kind of gotten like a little bit out of the christmas spirit like we were keeping the vibes very Christmassy in our house for a while like Christmas music all of our movies that we were watching were Christmas movies and oh, we were doing like cider all the time and stuff but then we had our Christmas with our little and we've kind of just fallen off the holiday bandwagon and we we want to jump right on because we have another week left and we don't you know we don't want to let the time pass by without feeling cozy so I thought making these oyster crackers would be like a fun little holiday treat that I can make for um, the next week or so. And then we did our, we planned our Christmas meal for Obi and my Christmas. And maybe I'll wrap some presents either today or tomorrow. And, and we've been playing Christmas music almost all day long. So we're getting, we're, we're getting ourselves back in the Christmas groove. Um, so yeah, let's make a simple syrup. Then let's make these yummy oyster cracker treats. Um, and then we'll see what we do from there. 
for the syrup, so I'm gonna make a vanilla syrup. Um, I use equal parts water and equal parts sugar and then one vanilla bean. Um, and I'm doing a cup of water and a cup of sugar and one vanilla bean. God, it smells so good. Okay. So, um, I will likely scrape out the little pasty part in the center, put that in with the water, and then I'll just put the bean like in the jar when we store the syrup. Okay, I was gonna make the oyster crackers first, but I actually think I'm gonna make my coffee so that I can drink it while I make the oyster crackers. Um, so, oh, hello face. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you how to make a soda papa if you're interested. There's a lot of making things in today's vlog, I'm realizing. You know why? Because you're all not know what to do with downtime. I just don't. I, I don't know, I don't not feel it. Um, all right, vanilla bean syrup. And glass. I'm gonna pull a double shot. probably do this with iced coffee as well if you're not if you don't have an espresso machine but I haven't tried it so I don't know how yummy it is okay we're gonna pull the shot I'll see you in a second okay so we have our syrup normally I would measure this out but I'm, I'm not today because I just can't be bothered but I'm going to just pour kind of a little bit in the bottom that seems fine. Um, we're going like full sweet anyway. Normally I would be like more cautious to like not make it too sweet, but we're going, we're doing the whole thing, so. Okay, and then pouring my espresso in with that just to give it a good mix. Um, I'm just gonna kinda like stir it like that. The thing is, is that this is pretty hot and I don't wanna like a cup full of melted ice um, with everything else, so. I might, but I can't, normally what I would do is cool this down with milk before pouring it over ice, but you can't really do that with Coke because it'll blow up. So I'm just gonna put like one cube of ice in here to let it, okay, we'll just let that cool. Okay, she's full. And then I think this is cooled down enough to where I can pour it over. So we'll go espresso first with the vanilla syrup in it. And then topping with Coke. I have just this much room for cream, and I'm just gonna top her off. Okay, now let me taste it and make sure this is good. I haven't made one of these in so long and the last time I made it I actually just made it with sweet cream creamer which is just as easy um, but I wanted to switch it up today okay let's see if it's good mm, yeah okay just as good delicious what a fun treat okay now I say okay all the time not to point it out to you so that you start noticing it. We're going to make some oyster crackers. Toffee, salted toffee oyster crackers.
Okay, here they are. Um, I'm gonna give them a good little sprinkle of salt and let them cool here. And then once they're cooled here, I take them off of the pan and let, pull them on some parchment paper to cool like fully. Neither of us are very big sweets people. So I'm not positive that Obi will even take one of these from me right now, but I'm gonna try and see if he will and see what he, what he thinks. He had a win. He's playing with his new synth. I got him a synthesizer for his birthday and it um, was just like not the right one. So we exchanged it for the one he needed and he got it today, so it's very exciting. So here's the deal. I'm gonna just drink this coffee Read my book. I haven't gotten into this book yet. I'm reading The Searcher. Um, and I've been trying to get into it, but I've just not gotten into it yet. So I'm going to turn you guys off for a little while, sit down, drink my coffee, read the book, report back later. Bye. So Obi is um going to make us dinner tonight and while he is cooking i'm going to take a nice bath and then i'll get to come out and be all cozy and eat my dinner and watch another meryl street movie it's always night to pick choices so i don't know what he's gonna pick but let's take a nice luxurious bath <laughs> sandwiches for dinner and Obi's gonna give me some Meryl Street choices. <laughs> 